Hello, and welcome to this training session on donning and doffing of protective personal equipment and maintaining proper hand hygiene. My name is Jody Babich, and I am a registered nurse educator. The COVID-19 virus has created many worries and concerns for all of us. Perhaps the most important thing that you and I can do to prevent the continuous spread of the virus is first and foremost, maintain that social distancing, six feet between you and your fellow coworker and you and your fellow shopper. Secondly, wearing of masks. As you may know, the state of Pennsylvania is now under order to constantly wear masks. The only exception is when you are at home or when you are in your own vehicle by yourself. Thirdly, and probably most importantly, is proper hand hygiene. The first thing we're going to talk about is donning and doffing or putting on and taking off of our PPE, our protective personal equipment. We have gloves and we have a mask. Again, gloves are not mandatory, the masks are mandatory. When you don or put on the gloves, please make sure that your gloves are up around your wrist. You want to pull them back as far as they will go. You also want to be careful when you're wearing gloves, if you are also wearing jewelry, you want to make sure that the jewelry doesn't rip or destroy the integrity of the glove. So once your gloves are on and they're up around your wrists, you will utilize them and then we're ready to doff them or take them off. You're going to take your dominant hand, come to the middle of the glove in your non-dominant hand, pull it upward, and then start to pull downward in a downward motion. You'll see that at no time did the outside of this glove ever touch my skin. Roll that glove up in your hand, take two fingers, go underneath the wrist, underneath this little cuff, and you're going to start pulling down. Again, at no time did I touch the outside of the glove. This is now the inside of the glove that was against your skin. We'll then dispose of them in your trash can. The mask, again, we are all required to wear masks all the time with the exception of in our own home or the exception of when we're alone in our own vehicle. The mask has a cloth protectant and two straps. Obviously, one strap goes behind the right ear, one goes behind the left. A couple of things that people tend to do, they leave the mask under their chin, but they fail to put it up across the bridge of their nose. This is not going to protect you and it's not going to protect your coworkers. The mask must be up at the bridge of your nose at all times and underneath the chin. When you go to remove the mask, again, take your pointer finger on the right, go behind the ear, release the strap. The same on the left, release the strap and pull forward. This way you don't risk contaminating your face with what is on the outside of the mask. It is the outside of the mask that protects us from the virus, which is of droplet origin. So that means that it can be spread when people are talking, when people cough or sneeze, etc. So don't touch the outside of the mask. You'll take the mask and you will discard the mask. Now that you know how to properly don and doff your protective personal equipment, mask and gloves, let's move on to hand hygiene. There are two methods for hand hygiene. Obviously, one is soap and water. The other is utilizing antimicrobial hand sanitizer. So we're going to start with soap and water. There's one myth that I'm certain most of you think is true, 
but it's not. You do not need to wash your hands with hot water. In fact, if you do wash your hands with hot water, you put yourself at risk of acquiring something called a contact dermatitis. Your hands may come, become red, inflamed, they may become scaly, they may have scabs on them, they may become infected. So please do not repeatedly use hot water to wash your hands. It is simply not necessary. We recommend warm water and an antimicrobial soap. What we want to do is make sure that we hit every step of the way with our hand washing. Typically, we teach that we want you to sing the happy birthday song through twice. That should give you between 20 and 25 seconds of washing your hands. So we can go ahead and start our water and get our soap, and I typically use two pumps. I wet my hands and I begin washing palm to palm, back and forth. At this point, we wanna put hand over hand and we wanna wash between our fingers. We'll do this about three seconds and then we'll switch and do the other side. We can constantly be re-wetting our hands. We then wanna put our hands together and wash between our fingers. Once we've done that, we'll turn our hands and bend our fingers like so. Scrub right over left and left over right. That helps us not only to get the insides of our fingers clean, but under our fingernails as well. We see that our thumbs are out, so we can't forget to go back and get our thumbs and get them nice and clean. When we're done with that, we're going to take our fingernails and make a circular motion in the palm of our hands. We'll do this for three seconds on one side and three seconds on the other. Once we are finished, it's time to rinse our hands. A mistake that a lot of people make is rinsing their hands while their hands are in an upward motion. That's not a good idea because as you can imagine, the germs and bacteria will just flow right up your arms. We always want to think in reference to flushing those germs right down the sink, a downward motion. We rinse one hand in a downward motion and we fully rinse the other hand in a downward motion. Once you are clearly rinsed, you wanna go ahead and get your paper towel and dry your hands thoroughly. You've noticed that I left the water run. I did that for a reason. We have clean hands and the last thing we wanna do is reach up and touch the faucet. We will throw away that paper towel. We will grab another paper towel and use it to turn the water off. And we will then discard that paper towel. If you are in an open room and you don't need to go out a bathroom door, you're finished. However, if you do need to go out through a public bathroom door, please grab yet one more paper towel and use it to cover the door when you open it. So you'll grab the handle with this paper towel. Once you come out through the door, find the closest trash receptacle and throw that paper towel away. At this point, the state of Pennsylvania is requiring that all of you at work wash your hands with soap and water once every hour. So you're going to wanna to make sure that you work hand in hand with your manager or your supervisor so that you can start a rotation schedule so that you all can be washing your hands once every hour. Now, many of you come in contact with customers, with money, with paperwork, constantly through your work day. In between those hand washings, cue every hour or every hour, Amerisurf has provided you with antimicrobial hand sanitizer. We use this in the same manner as soap and water, with the exception, obviously, as we will not rinse it off. You simply remove the cap, and these are spray bottles. So you're wanna, going to wanna give two to three sprays, and you're gonna to wanna to follow the same steps, palm to palm, 
back of the hand, back of the hand, coming back together, curving your fingers and rubbing between and then reversing, going to the center to get all of that bacteria out from under your nails. Don't forget to wash your thumbs and we're finished. I hope you found this training video helpful. Thank you for your time and for your attention. Together, the Amerisurf family can get through this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong.